الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Iyakum wa ghulu The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Beware extremism So this is a message That is incredibly important for us And incredibly relevant for us In this time of great trials and tribulations The time of fitna that we live in A time when there are many people who attempt to distort the image of Islam either due to ignorance or either due to their wicked plans and evil plots against Islam. In fact, we'll find individuals who are planted within the community who who are distorting the message and who attempt to harm the Muslims. And then you have another group of people who are based, basically completely ignorant of the religion. And so they do extremist acts. And they follow extremist ideologies based upon their own ignorance and based upon bid'ah. Based upon what? Innovation in the religion. And for those people who feel shy about the term bid'ah, the term innovation, they need to fear Allah because the Prophet said Man ragiba an sunnati falaysa minni Whoever desires other than my way is not from me The Prophet said Iyakum muhtathar al-amur fa inna kulla bidatin dalala The Prophet said And beware of newly innovated, uh, newly innovated matters for every Innovation leads to the hellfire. The Prophet ﷺ didn't make any exceptions. He said every innovation, meaning those innovations in the religion, when a person comes up with a new ideology, a new way of doing things, something that goes against the peaceful religion of Islam, this is a bid'ah. This is something totally accepted and it will lead you only to the hellfire. And more often than not, it leads you to destruction in this life as well as the hereafter. Let's see what the Prophet ﷺ said about those people who continue on bid'ah, who continue on innovation in the religion, and refuse to make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet ﷺ said, قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ أَحْتَجَزَ أَتَّوْبَةَ عَنْ صَاحِبَ كُلُّ بِدَعَ The Prophet ﷺ said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, withdraws the the repentance on from every person who is an innovator. Shaykh al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah said regarding the statement, Wama'ana kawluhum in al bid'ata la yutaba minha. So Shaykh al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah said that the meaning of this statement of the Prophet وسلم, or the statement of the scholars, the classical scholars, because they believe that the person who commits innovation in the religion uh, more often than not will not have the tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and leave their innovation. He said, and this they the reason that they don't leave their innovation, and al mubtidir Alladi attakhada deenin lem yashrahu Allah wala rasuluhu so, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said that the innovator, the one who distorts the religion of Islam, and this has to do with those extremists or anyone who distorts and adds something or takes away from the religion of Islam in regarding the acts of worship, that the person who does this, they take their innovation as something from the religion. They believe what they're doing is good. They believe what they're doing is what they're doing is good. So even those extremists, the ones who are distorted on ignorance, who do ignorant acts or follow ignorant ideologies, they do this because they believe they're coming closer to Allah. Even though, as Shaykh al Islam said, Lem Yashrahu Allah wa Rasulu, even though Allah and His Messenger did not legislate those actions and that their 
evil actions, their evil actions were made beautiful for them. And they thought they were good. They thought their actions were good, but the devil, the shaitan, beautified their evil actions for them. فَهُوَ لَا يُتُوبُ مَا دَمَ يَرَاهُ مَا دَمَ يَرَاهُ حَسَنًا لِأَنَّ الْأَوْلَ تَوْبَ الْعِلْمِ بِأَنَّ فَعَلَ فِعْلَهُ سَيْ لِيُتُوبُ مِنْهُ And Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah went on to say, he said that they do not make tawbah, they do not make repentance, these innovators. Why? Because they believe what they're doing is good, and the first step uh, in repentance is that they have knowledge that what they did was evil and then they would take the steps to make repentance from it so when a person is innovating when a person is a violent extremist when a person is following the khawarij when a person is, is, is following the takfiris when the person is called, following those people who take innocent lives or believe that is a, a way or a methodology that will bring them closer to Allah they believe that this is good then they're not going to make repentance from this because they are ignorant as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah pointed out فَمَادَمْ فَمَادَمْ يَرَى فِعْلَهُ حَسَنًا وَهُوَ سَيِّ فِي نَفْسِ فِي نَفْسِ الْأَمْرِ فَإِنَّهُ لَا يَتُوبُ So as long as he sees what, what he is doing is good when in fact it's evil in and of itself then he will not make repentance and that was what Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said isn't this the case? how many people do we know that are on bid'ah there are uninnovation. There are unheretical innovation. Some of them they make, uh, they go, they dance around the graves of the of the righteous people. Some of them they build up their graves and they believe they're coming closer to Allah. But in fact, this is another type of extremism. This is an extremism in worship. And how many people have we heard of who are involved in these evil terrorist plots? Who who believe in blowing up this? Believe in cutting off the head of this person? Believe in doing? Uh, 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 strapping themselves with bombs in this country. How many people have we heard of doing these evil plots or actually doing them in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Somalia, and you name it, they're doing it because they're on evil innovation. Because they're going away from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it's imperative that we speak against this. It's imperative that we begin to not be silent. We can't be silent. We can't afford to be silent because this is destroying our communities and it's destro destroying the da'wah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's destroying the propagation of true Islam. And you'll be asked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about what you propagated. So you, ayyuha du'a to fitan, O oh you people who call people to this evil ideology, you people who have something of knowledge and you distort the principle of Islam, Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ittaqi Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear Allah. Wa alaykum bi sunnati. Wa sunnata khulafa rashidin al mahdiin. And it is upon you the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and the sunnah of his rightly guided predecessors, those who did not follow this evil ideology and in fact fought it. And in fact they fought it. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, al khawarij kilab al nar. That the khawarij, they're the, they're the dogs of the hellfire. So those people who call to rebelling against leaders, those people who call to blowing up buildings, those people who call to blowing up people, those people who call who believe they're following some path of jihad and they just take it upon themselves to just kill people and do innocent, uh, uh, go again and take innocent lives and destroy property and destroy wealth and 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 cause harm to the community and cause harm to uh, people all over the world. Those people who threaten. Others are going against the Prophet ﷺ, and they are causing an evil, a, a, a great, a great harm to the Muslims, and they're causing a great harm to the non-Muslims. They're causing a harm to humanity. And the Prophet ﷺ said, "La darar wa la dirar." He said, "There's no harming, and there's no, and there's, uh, there's, and no, uh, no harm." So when are we going to wake up? When are we going to? Deal with this ideology that will be with us until the day of judgment. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us to wake up. To bless us to, to gain further knowledge of our religion. And to know so that way we can distinguish the truth between the falsehood. Grab on to, listen to the Prophet sallallahu advice. Oh Allah bless us to accept the Prophet sallallahu advice. The Prophet sallallahu 
gave us Nasiha. He said, a deen in Nasiha. He said, this religion is Nasiha. It is advice. And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to accept that advice and to accept the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and practice this religion in a manner that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and, and being the inheritors of the earth and establishing peace based upon Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and the understanding of his companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless those people who are on innovation to come back to the religion and, and oh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide the Shia to leave their evil of cursing the companions of the Prophet وسلم, or may Allah subhanahu wa, ta'ala, subhanahu wa ta'ala wipe them off the face of the earth and O oh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala please guide us to the haq and Protect us from the harm of these takfiri, tedmiri, uh, khawarij. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.